So, how would you guys like to see me demonstrate some pepper spray by spraying myself in the face to show you how effective it is? Stick around, guys. YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope you'll find that it is entertaining and informative. First and foremost, I want to say that I am not a professional anything. What you're about to see in this video is not advice. I'm not telling you what's a good idea or a bad idea. I'm just telling you what I think. The views and opinions expressed in this video are mine, and they may differ from yours. And that's okay. Let's get into it. Uh, six days ago, I posted in the community tabs of my YouTube page a survey where I ask you guys your choice for non-lethal personal protection if a gun is not an option. And I gave you four options to choose from. Uh, the options were pepper spray, mace, etc tasers or electric stun guns, etc. Bladed weapons, such as a knife, etc. Or blunt weapons, such as a baton or bat or something, etc., etc. After you guys voted, here is what you determined uh, to be your choice for non-lethal personal protection if a gun is not an option. 50% of you chose pepper spray, etc., etc. Thirty-one percent of you chose bladed weapons, such as knives, etc., etc. And thirteen percent of you chose tasers or electric stun guns, etc., etc., etc. Nobody voted for blunt weapons like batons and bats, etc., etc., etc. What's with the etc.? I don't know. So 50% of you uh, said pepper spray, and 31% of you chose knives, which is kind of weird because just recently, and the reason I did this was I wanted to see if I was in the same mode of thought as the general YouTube community, and I was. I agree with you guys, um, but until recently, um, I didn't carry pepper spray. And I know I've bought it for my wife and I've bought it for my daughter. But for some reason I had this, I don't know, ego thing. You know, I would pepper spray, that's for women, that's for girls. Well, that's nonsense. That's rubbish. Um, pepper spray, I believe, is a great non-lethal form of protection. I did a lot of research before I posted this survey. And I looked into... Uh, pepper spray and uh, I did a lot of uh, a lot of research on it learned a lot of stuff that I really probably didn't need to know I figured I would go ahead and bite the bullet get myself some pepper spray as it turns out pepper spray is a very effective deterrent in a close quarters type of self-defense situation someone remarked on the uh, survey in the comments section it was Harshman Hills if you haven't checked out his channel, go do it. I know I've plugged this channel several times. It's because he's a great guy. Uh, James at Harshman Hills said, um, well, let me read it, because I want to get the wording right since somebody else said it. If I mess up my own words, I don't care, but I want to make sure I quote him properly. He said, distance is your friend. And that is dead on correct. When you're in a situation, a self-defense situation, where, say you're walking to your car and someone approaches you with ill intent, the best thing you can do in that confrontation is to avoid that confrontation. But, it happens every day in America, there are situations where people can't avoid the confrontation and 
the confrontation goes down. And people with pepper spray have been able to buy the amount of time to create that distance. Now the intent of pepper spray is, is should be that, to detour the assailant from further action or to allow you time to put distance between you and the bad guy. So um, it's not a lethal, it's not going to kill anybody. Um, it probably hurts like hell. I've watched a lot of videos where people have sprayed themselves or had people spray them just so they can understand how it affects the human body and how it actually feels. You know, uh, if you clicked on this video because of what I said at the very beginning, how would you like to see me demonstrate the pepper spray? Well, I said, how would you like to see? I didn't say I was going to do it. I'm not stupid. But thankfully, enough people in the world have been stupid enough to let people spray them in the face so that people like me can see, oh yeah, that looks painful. Oh yeah, I, that, nah, I, I don't want to deal with that. Oh yeah, that stuff works. I'm glad he did it, not me. I'm not going to do that, guys. So if that's the only reason you're here, you can go ahead and click off now. I'm not that stupid guy that's going to spray myself with pepper spray uh, just to see how it feels. Um, enough people have done that where I can see, yeah, it works. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it can blind you temporarily. Yeah, it can create an opportunity to create distance between me and Mr. Bad Guy. So, I don't have to do it thanks to all the stupid people out there on YouTube who have. And I mean that with all respect. Uh, because they have, we know that this stuff works. We know that pepper spray is effective. So, I went ahead and I added pepper spray to my everyday carry. And, um, you know, 50% of you said pepper spray. 31% of you said a knife. Well, I have both as part of my everyday carry. Um, now, the knife I carry varies from week to week. For example, right now, I have this, uh, this knife, which is my everyday carry at the time. I'm with 31% of you and saying that, yeah, a knife is a great thing to have in a uh, non-lethal, well, I guess it could be lethal, um, self-defense situation. But I also started carrying pepper spray. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the one that I chose and why I chose it. So, stick around, guys. Alright, guys. Welcome back to Airman Outdoors. We're talking about pepper spray right now. And I recently added pepper spray to my everyday carry. Um, I did a lot of research on pepper spray. And I learned a lot of stuff that I probably don't even really need to know. But, I uh, chose a particular brand that I'm going to share with you now. And I want to first of all say that I'm not being paid by this company. They did not send me free stuff. The product I'm talking about is made by a company called Palm Industries. That's P-O-M Industries. And Palm stands for peace of mind. And if you think about it, that's really what you're getting with pepper spray, is peace of mind. And one of the things I like most about Palm Industries is that, hey, A, it's made in the United States of America. And I try my very best to support American businesses as often as I can. And you should too. Other than that, it's just a, it, it seems to be a very well thought out product. Uh, the attention to the details is uh, spot on and uh, I'll go over the product with you now that I chose. They make different options as far as how you carry it. I chose the option with a clip but this is the unit. This is the Palm OC spray or pepper spray. Um, it's a great product. It's very well thought out. I got the clip option and it has a very tight well made clip here. You can hear that. And it just clamp clips right inside your jeans pocket or your pants pocket or shorts. But I chose the clip option. They also have a key, key ring option 
and I think they have one with no type of clip or accessory. It's very small, very lightweight, which I like about it, uh, but it does fit comfortably in the hand, and uh, you can take the bottom off like this, so you can, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you could switch that um, clip around to the back side if you want it on the back. I like to have it on the front because it gives me a good reference point to where the front of the nozzle and the spray unit are located. Also, if you'll notice right here, there's a little ridge. And that is so you, again, can know where the spray nozzle is. And you know that if your finger is on that ridge, that it's not obstructing or covering up the spray unit. Your finger, you know that your finger is in a safe spot where you're not going to get pepper spray on your body or on your finger. You're not going to prohibit it from being dispersed as it should. So I think that's a neat little uh, detail that they put on there. And another good thing about it is, you notice the top, I can push on that all day and it's not squirting. Now a lot of the other pepper sprays that my wife and my daughter have had in the past, they have the little red thing that you slide over. It's possible for that little red thing to slide over while it's in your pocketbook or in your purse and then something could push down on it and you could have pepper spray all over your pocketbook for the ladies or you could have a pocket full of pepper spray in your pants. And I don't know about you, but I know my boys wouldn't be too happy with a pocket full of pepper spray right next to where they're located. So that's a good feature. And what it is, it's a safety feature. And this top, you see there, that top lifts up. So you can easily lift it up with your thumb and then there's the button right there where you push down to emit the spray. So it's a simple procedure. Your hand is in the right place because your finger is under that. Pick up, push down. Put your hand up underneath that lid like that, and then just push down. And, uh, well, how far do you have to push down? It's not hard to push down at all. I'm going to demonstrate it. Not on my face, but on my friend, Osama Hussein Akbar Mohammed Khalid. He has volunteered to help me today. And according to Palm Industries, this will spray uh, effectively about 10 feet. It says 8 to 12, um, but from what I've heard, 10 feet is about as far back as you want to be um, for it to really have a good aim and be effective. Um, well, how many sprays can you get out of this, um, Arabin? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. They say that you can get uh, one continuous spray up to 12 seconds. In other words, if I flip that and push and hold, I'm going to get about 12 seconds worth of spray. That's a lot of spray, guys. 12, can you imagine? 12 seconds? How long is that? Let's see. Go. That was 12 seconds. I don't think Mr. Uh, I don't think the Osama Hussein Akbar Muhammad Khalid is going to hold still for 12 seconds for me to spray that. They say that when you do this, you want to go in that kind of motion, side to side, ear to ear, covering the eyes, and then an upward motion. Kind of like the Catholics do the cross thing. That's kind of the pattern that you want to do uh, to get good coverage with your pepper spray. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, Osama Hussein Akbar Muhammad Khalid has agreed to volunteer for me. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to step back. I'm going to get 10 feet away. And we're going to see what kind of pattern I can get on Osama Hussein Akbar Muhammad Khalid's face. Alright? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark off 10 feet. I'm going to spray him in the face. I'll focus the camera on him so you can see how it works. Alright? Stick around, guys. Hi right, guys, uh, I'm talking kind of loud. I hope you can hear me. I am 10 feet away from Osama Hussein Akbar Muhammad Khalid right now. 
and I'm going to activate the Palm Industries pepper spray on Osama Hussein Akbar Muhammad Khalid's face. Alright, it's kind of windy, but I think I got the wind at my back. Ten feet is a long ways away, but it, I'll talk about that in a minute. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, guys, if you look closer here, let me get the camera. That did a very good job. I don't know how well this is coming off on the camera. Um, but you can see, you can see it's, it's starting, his eyes are starting to bleed. But I got him in the eye, on the head, all over the face. It pretty much sprayed the target, even where his name's written here. All the way down, good pattern, good spray. I seem to have hit the uh, his right side better, more, but I did get some in this eye too. So, um, Osama Hussein Akbar, Muhammad Khalid, sorry, bud, but you deserved it. Damn terrorist. All right, guys, there you have it. So, as you can see, uh, at 10 feet away, I was able to spray him, I think, pretty well. I don't know how long that was. I'll have to watch back and see how long I sprayed. Yeah, I was really surprised at the accuracy of it. That stream, I didn't have to worry about a mist of spray or anything like that blowing back into me. Uh, so I think it's very effective as far as the ergonomics of it. Like I say, the ease of use. I know that if I want to spray this, if I when I pull it out of my pocket, that clip is where my fingers, my bottom three fingers should be that ridge that I told you about I know that that's where my forefinger should be so I know that's the direction that it's gonna spray and then just putting that under there that's how it works like I say very effective very lightweight very small very ergonomic easy to use I love the safety feature there so my boys aren't gonna have to worry about being in such close proximity to this and uh, as far as does it hurt I personally don't know but I've seen enough dummies on YouTube prove that it, it, it is effective stuff this only cost twelve dollars and ninety five cents guys it's got a shelf life of two and a half years so hopefully I will never have to use this hopefully my wife my daughter will never have to use this but they will have, and I will have, peace of mind knowing that I have it. See what I did there? Peace of mind. P-O-M. Alright, so, Palm Industries Pepper Spray. I think it's a good product. It has become part of my EDC uh, everyday carry. That, 50% of you agree that pepper spray is a good thing to have. 31% of you agree that this is also a good thing to have. So, I'm with 81% of you guys every day, part of my everyday carry. Anyway, I appreciate you guys coming along on the Urban Outdoors. Sorry if I disappointed you by not spraying this in my face, but I do appreciate you coming along. If you're one of my 1,470 subscribers, thank you so much. If you're not, would you please consider hitting that subscribe button? If you're one of the 50 or so people who watch my videos, extra, extra special thank you. Thanks for coming along, guys. Until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.